Hi, my name is Dr. Sneha Ajit. This project was done along with Dr. Raj Magela. We're second year internal medicine residents at Houston Methodist Hospital. Our mentor is Dr. Sudha Kodali. I'll be talking to you about the diagnosis of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or NASH. These diseases are often silent. The first sign may be abnormal liver function tests that are seen on routine lab work. You may also have signs of fatty liver caught incidentally on scans done for other reasons. In these situations, your primary care doctor may refer you to a liver doctor. The first step is to assess your risk factors for NAFLD. These include diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, your doctor may also examine for an enlarged liver or for signs of progression of the fatty liver disease to cirrhosis. The next step is lab work. Your doctor may repeat your liver function tests. They will also check your cholesterol levels and your sugars. They may also rule out some other major liver diseases that are dangerous to miss. These include viral liver infections such as hepatitis A, B, and C, autoimmune hepatitis, which are diseases where your body attacks its own liver cells, iron liver storage disorders, such as hemochromatosis. The next step is imaging. Ultrasound and MRI of the liver are the most common imaging tests ordered. These will help look for fat in the liver, the look uh, for signs of stiffening of the liver, such as fibrosis, and also for scarring, such as cirrhosis. An MRI is often a better test compared to an ultrasound, especially in patients with obesity, where the ultrasound images may not be that clear. A liver biopsy is the best test to look at the liver. A liver biopsy is not always needed to diagnose non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It may help in situations where the diagnosis is unclear. It also helps look for the inflammation that is characteristic of NASH, which may not be seen in scans and it may also help establish a diagnosis of cirrhosis. It is, however, an invasive procedure with its own risks, since it involves putting a needle into the liver to extract a piece of liver tissue and then looking at it under the microscope. Why should we diagnose non-alcoholic fatty liver disease early? This disease doesn't have a specific medication to treat it. You can only reverse the risk factors for the disease so an early diagnosis helps you work on controlling your cholesterol, your diabetes, working on weight loss. It also helps you stop the progression of the disease before it pro proceeds to cirrhosis. I hope this video was informative. Thank you.